which atma are you talking about what atma have you experienced mind you know the function of the mind to some extent atma what do you know once again you are talking about stories that other people told you we can tell you any kind of story but please do not talk about things which are not in your experience the moment you start talking about what is not in your experience to put it very bluntly you are just lying to yourself isn't it yes if you are talking about things which are not in your living experience are you not lying to yourself yes or no so don't talk about atmas about mind we can see atma you cannot see right now does it mean to say it does not exist it does not matter whether it exists or not it is not in your experience right now so if you want to experience anything beyond physical nature obviously you cannot experience it with five sense organs you must have a way of perceiving life beyond the five sense perceptions that's what yoga means yoga means raising your perception beyond the physical so that you can experience that which is not physical only when you experience that which is not physical we can say you are spiritual not because you believe this or that you are spiritual not because you go to the temple mosque or church you are spiritual you will become spiritual only when the realm of your experience transcends the physical reality and you have started experiencing that which is not physical let's not give names to that let us just see right now it is not in our experience and let's create a longing that we want to know life beyond the present limitations of life naturally there will be a way to know this